Welcome to 3D Survey Point Cloud Editing Tools tutorial. We're going to show you how to work with a point cloud most efficiently. To start, just a few tips on how the 3D Survey Viewer works. Use left mouse click to rotate the model, middle button to pan the model, and scroll up or down to zoom in or out. If you'd like to inspect a part of the model in detail, the best way is to move the area point cloud to the center of the 3D cross. Do this first from the top view followed by the side view. You can also increase the point render size for a better quality. We can zoom in now and clearly see the details. To delete points from a point cloud, simply select them and click delete. You can also press delete button on your keyboard. Doing measurements on an active site means you're dealing with constant change and it's simply impossible to monitor everything as you go. That's when the quality of your data comes in. It enables you to check the changes in terrain height with point snapping tool, the point elevation being displayed in the bottom left corner of the 3D survey software. To see all the changes, select the area and move points to a level you want. Two hundred and ninety five point ten meters in this case. Calculate digital surface model and check the result. Another option is to use manipulation tool to lower or raise the point cloud surface. It comes in handy in case you know how much the surface has been changed in comparison to your last data acquisition. Just select the area of points you want to move click Manipulate Points and select Increase. Set it, for example, to minus 2.15 meters. That way, all the selected points get automatically reduced by the selected value. Another interesting tool when using Point Cloud in DSM is Delete Other. Use this tool to quickly delete everything you don't need. Select the area you want to keep, wait for it to process, and click Delete Other. That will help you optimize the data storage and have your computer work smoothly. That's all for now, folks. Thanks for watching. See you in our next tutorial.